to Ceramics Lab. In this tutorial, we are going to tell you about how to do ritual refinement using math software. Remember, this is a beginner level tutorial. That means the ritual refinement that you are that you are going to do is going to be fully automatic. You are not going to have a full control over various parameters which can be found out using ritual refinement. So this is going to be automatic and this can be quickly done to get your lattice parameters and other parameters which are required for your sample. So this is the website from where you can download the math software. The math software can be downloaded freely as well which will be fully functional for two to three months but after that it will expire. So to get a fully functional version you have to get it on subscription. This you can find it easily through your institute subscription. So this is the soft uh, website and you can download from this from here and after downloading you have to download a reference database for here you can have a crystal open database as well which is a freely available database which has an around 378,000 entries in it. You can also have the database which is not free but it is much more authoritative than compared to this one that is PDF 4 plus. This is costly you can see it is around 5875 dollar but people can get this on institute subscription as well. So if you have these two database PDF 4 which can be obtained from International Center for Diffraction Data uh, website or you can have a crystal open database. These two database you can fit feed into your match software and then you can use it for indexing your peaks or matching your diffraction pattern. So these are the pre requirement to have. You have to have a match software and a crystal database. It can be crystal open database or it can be ICDD PF, PDF 4 database. And after this you have to have a pre-installed foolproof version. This is required for ritual refinement using match. Match uses this software foolproof to do the ritual refinement in the background. So you have to have this software as well pre-installed only then you can use ritual refinement. So we'll move over to the match software and we'll see how to do the ritual refinement automatic ritual refinement for a powder diffraction data of strontium titanate powder. So this is the math software. This is how it looks like. Here you have on the right hand side a periodic table. From this periodic table you can select the elements which are there in your sample and from there you can search various phases which are possible in your system. So quickly I'll drag and drop one strontium titanate XRDML file. So here I have an strontium titanate powder diffraction data in XRDML format. So I'll drag and drop it over match. Sorry, I have to remove one. Yeah, so this is your data which has been already plotted. This is the 2 theta and this is the arbitrary intensity. So we know that our sample has strontium, titanium and oxygen. So we'll move down to this periodic table where I can select the elements which are present, which I know which are possible in my elements, in my samples. So I'll select strontium, titanium and oxygen. Okay. And then I'll go over to entries, sorry, search and you can click over search match. So once you click it, this software will search all those compounds which have the element strontium, titanium and oxygen in its database. So that's why you have to have the database already feeded into the match. So you can feed that database from here and you can click select or create reference database. Here you can see I already have selected crystal open database which is already feeded into the system. You, if you do not have the database, then you can 
click over to the head and go to that folder and select it okay anyway I have it so I'll click search match so it will quickly search in its database and give the result So here it has searched and provided various possibilities in my system. So here you can see the first entry it shows is strontium 0.6, lanthanum 0.4, titanium oxide. So we know that we do not have lanthanum in our compound, in our sample. Then we are not going to select it. We look we look over to the next entry, which is exactly matching with our stoichiometry of the compound. So we'll select this. To select this as the candidate which is matching with your powder diffraction data you have to right click over it and click select as match or you can press space in windows so if you do that it will come that entry will come down to this one the selected entry and here you can see go over to the data sheet and you can see the information provided in this entry here you can see the formula for the reference is strontium titanate and it has been published in physical and physics and chemistry of minerals in 2000 and the space group of the system is pm minus 3m which is cubic minus 3 at the center and the lattice parameter for the reference data is 3.90528 we'll see that once ritual refinement is done the lattice parameter will change because for our system the ritual refinement will give a different value of the cell parameter and here are the x y z values of strontium titan and oxygen positions in the unit cell so here we have selected the reference file to do the ritual refinement we'll just go over we'll go over to fp here you can say set up and run ritual refinement calculation using full proof so again you have to have installed pre-installed full proof software now you click it full proof and a window will appear now as told in the starting of this video we are going to do a automatic ritual refinement means we are not going to have a control over these parameters background parameters and various other parameters I everything is going to be taken care of by the software because this is for beginners level this is not as good as the expert mode where you can control all the things and generate a better chi-square value chi-square value will come later on so we'll select automatic ritual refinement and click run proof so here you can see on the right hand side it shows ritual refinement proof calculation going on here there are two parameters given final reduced chi square and final weighted average Bragg R factor a final reduced chi square is actually a goodness of fit that means how close is the fitting data that means in ritual refinement what happens is your diffraction data is matched with the simulated data and the matching is done using least square fit the error between the, between the two has to be decreased using least square fit so the lower the value of chi square it means the better fitting it is much more matching with your experimental data so here we, we have found that chi square is 6.3 so any value below 10 is good and below 5 is much much better so 6.3 is respectable and 9.8 is good value so we have we have done the automatic ritual refinement in our case here you can see that the blue line which you see here is not dark blue the dark blue line is experimental pattern and the red ones are your reference data whereas this line which you see where is my pointer faded blue this line has to be have very straight if it is like that then only there is a complete ritual refinement if there are some humps here and there then it is not that good for now we'll go with this configuration anyway and we'll see the result which we have got after the automatic ritual refinement now to do that we'll, you can just there are various options you can click fp cal out and then click go it will generate 
it will show you the generated files which was obtained after it refinement. So various parameters will be there. We are for now we are concerned about a, b and c and alpha, beta and gamma. a, b and c are the lattice parameters. So here you can see the space groups. You can find the x, y, z positions of a strontium titanate for your system. And here are the lattice parameters. So for the system it is 3. Point, for our system it is 3.9067. Since it is cubic, so a, b, c is going to be equal. And since it, again, since it is cubic, alpha, beta, gamma is going to be 90 degree. So here, through automatic rate for refinement, we have quickly found out the lattice parameter. You can save the resulting files as well. You can make a folder and save all those files. So you're, you'll get various files and you can save it. And if you now want to index the peaks which you have got here using match, then you can just go over there and click HKL, Miller indices. So here you can find the matching peaks. This is 100, this is 101, then you have, the, so all the peaks have been already indicated in this. So you can save this as well. You can take a snapshot of it or you can index uh, in, in your graph. Now again we'll go back to the data sheet and see this is the original file which you had selected and now after the refinement which value what are the values which have changed after the ritual refinement so here see the a value was 3.90528 angstrom in the refined data which we have found is it is 3.9067 means there is a change this change will occur because because the reference file the thermal history or the processing method for the origin file might be different than our case so you will always find a little difference so that is for our system it is it has come out to be 3.9067 so this you can report or you can compare or you can do other data analysis related with the lattice parameter so that's it for today in this video we have found out how to do ritual refinement automatic ritual refinement using match if you like this video click like button subscribe to this channel and share it with your classmates as well they will also find it useful and uh, stay tuned to this channel we'll bring more technical tutorial videos in future till then bye bye take care